There's no people to teach. Okay, so here we are given, uh, they say, which if you are given an acute angle, okay? so Elena can either be told which they are dealing with an acute angle or they are going to be dealing with an obtuse angle. Okay? So if Elena is dealing with an acute angle, uh, they say which here they have PQR, okay? and then they say what they should prove which the sine of Q all over Q is going to be equal to the sine of P all over what, all over small letter P. Okay, the learner needs to come up with their own triangle. So the learner is going to draw a triangle. And then if they draw the triangle, after this, the learner should say which what is going to be P, what is going to be Q, what is going to be R. Okay? Now, we said, here's the wise way to do it. Né? It depends which one are you looking for. Agree here, you are looking for Q and P. Can you see that? Okay? Since I'm looking for to have, I want to have P and then I also want to have Q. I am going to put them on the horizontal plane so that my base can be on the horizontal plane. So I'll come and say, okay, it means which this one here can be P, it means which this one here can be Q, and then it means which this one here is going to be what to be R. Now, it's not to say which is compulsory for you to do it, we say, but it makes your life to be a little bit simple. <laughs> if you can make your, ba your base to be on the horizontal plane, it's, go it's going to make your life to be a little bit simple. Now, remember, your base can also be here, your base can also be here, depending on where you construct your height again. Okay? So here in this case, we are saying, because we see P and Q, we're going to make PQ to be on the horizontal. Is that fine again? Okay? okay, what is the next thing that we're going to do? We're going to name our triangle. If we name our triangle, this one here is going to be small letter P again. Okay? And then this one here is going to be small letter R. Uh, and then we expect this one to be small letter Q. Where this, this is what we have. Okay. Again? Now, what are we going to do? For us to prove, then we are able to construct. So we're going to say put the construction. Now, if we're going to construct, we're going to say which from R. So we're going to construct from R. From R, we're going to construct line RS. We're going to construct line RS. This is what we're going to do, line RS. And then we're going to construct line RS such that it is going to be perpendicular to PQ. So here I'm going to put a 90 degrees. Here. I'm not just doing a construction. The construction is going to be such that here I have what? 90 degrees. Okay, if this one is 90, even this one here is also going to be 90. Okay. okay, what is the next thing that we're going to do after our construction? The next thing that we're going to do is to identify right angle triangles. We are going to take out the right angle triangles that you see. What are the right angle triangles that you see here? We see RSP again. So we can take out this one as a right angle triangle. So if we take out this one as a right angle triangle, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have something that looks like this. And then here, agree here, you have 90. Again. <laughs> okay. We're going to have something that looks like this. Here we have 90. Again. And then here we have R again. Here we have S, and then here we have what? P. And then this one here is going to be Q again. Okay? And then we can make our life a little bit simple by naming Q, uh, R, S. So we can say we let uh, R, S to be equal to H, okay? so that we have a height H. So we put this one here as what? As, as H. Okay. Then from here onwards, we are also going to identify do we have another right angle triangle, or oh, this is the only one. We have another one. Okay, what is the other one that you see here? So you see R, S, Q, which is this one. Okay, we take it out now. Yeah? So if we take it out, we're going to have something that looks like this. There's 90 here. And then if there's 90 here, here you have what? R. Here you have what? S. And then here you have what? Q. Okay, this one here, we said already it's H. Okay? And then what is going to be this one? Small letter P. Yeah? Okay, now since we're dealing with the right angle triangle, what we can do is to name the sides. Uh, if we're going to name the sides here, we're going to say, okay, but this one here is opposite 90. What do you call this side? Then? This one is going to be our hypotenuse side. Okay? And then I am going to use, again, I have angle R. I also have angle Q here. Né? I'm going to use angle Q as a frame of reference. Why angle Q as a frame of reference? I can have Q then. Né? So if I use Q as a frame of reference, I'm going to name things in terms of Q. What is going to be this in relation to Q? This is looking at Q. Okay? So it's going to be opposite to Q. And what is this in relation to Q? It's going to be adjacent to Q. Okay, that one is for the red one. Okay? If we go to the blue one, we're going to say, okay, this one here, it's going to be, this is P. Okay? And then we're going to name everything in terms of P because we have P here. Okay? So if we come and say, okay, this one here is P, we're going to start with this one here. What do we call this side here? 
Opposite 90 is what? Hypotenuse. Huh? Okay, what do you think about this one? What is this in relation to P? This is opposite. And then what is this in relation to P? Adjacent. Okay, fine. Then I am going to look for sine of P. If I look for sine of P, it says which sine of P is going to be given as the opposite. Okay. What is the opposite? It's H all over. Hypotenuse side. What is your hypotenuse side? It's Q. We want to make H the subject. Né? If we want to make H, we're going to cross multiply. And then it says which Q is going to be equal to the sine of P, which is going to be equal to what? To H. So what did we do? Man? We've written H as a trick ratio. We've just written the distance from here to here. The distance from here to here, we tell them which it can be written as Q, the sine of what? Of, of P. Are we still together? Okay. If we go to the red triangle, if we go to the right triangle, what is going to be this thing here? Uh, we say, what is going to be the sign of Q? Sign of Q is opposite. Okay? What is opposite? H. What is hypotenuse? It's P. Cross multiply. Okay? This one comes here. It says, which okay, P multiplied by the sign of Q is going to be equal to atom H. Are we still fine? Okay, now we have this one, it's H, and then we also have this one, it's also what? H. Do you agree with me which H is equal to H? Okay. So let me write the H of the red color. If I write the H of the red color, it looks like this is P, the sign of Q, like this. Okay. And then I can also write the H of the blue color. What is the H of the blue color? It's Q, the sign of P. Okay. So I'm going to come and say, okay, this one here can be written as Q, the sign of P, like this. Now, what do they want, Bon? Let's check which, what is it that they wanted, Bon. I guess now they wanted me to, to show them which this thing can be written as the sign of Q, okay? So I'm going to leave the sign on the numerator and the side on the what on them, on the denominator. Since I want the size to be on the denominator, look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide by Q and P. This, this is a side, this is also a side, okay? Because they're small letters. So I'm going to divide by PQ. And then even the side, I'm going to divide by PQ. If I do that, Q and Q, they divide each other out, okay? And then if I do that, this side, what is going to happen? It's okay, it's P and P that are going to divide each other out. Okay? And then what am I going to have as my answer then? It says well, this can be written as the sign of P okay? all over P, which is going to be equal to the sign of Q all over what? All over Q, which looks like this. Doesn't matter, okay, this one and this one. You can you could have started with P, you could have also started with what? With, with Q, it really doesn't match. And then how would you mark something like this then? We'll give you two, two marks for the construction. Uh, we're going to give you one mark for getting H number one. We're going to give you another mark for getting H number two. And then we're going to give you another mark for equating them. And then all in all, you're going to get five marks for being able to prove this. The proof is five marks. Yeah, the proof is five marks. 